everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at it is the LG Optimus G from AT&T. Uh, this is a 4G device and is working with uh, LG's newest build. What we're seeing here is a little bit different look at the home screens. Uh, the user interface is slightly modified over original Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich and it's running extremely quickly thanks to Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor. That's quad core. That's the first time that quad core device processor is on any device. Now the apps you see here are all on here save for everything after YP Mobile. We added a few benchmark apps and some games that we've demoed separately. Otherwise everything on here comes with the device. So there's an extremely large amount of apps coming straight from AT&T and uh, Google apps on there as well. Comes right with Chrome. Uh, also comes with the browser. Eventually we're expecting that Chrome will only be on devices uh, with no regular browser right out of the box. This also comes with AT&T Locker. That's something we've learned about recently where you're able to put stuff on the cloud working with IBM. We're not going to look at that too much right now. But uh, you also see things like AT&T code, code Scanner and Family Map and that sort of thing come with a lot of AT&T apps, uh, devices rather recently. We also have LG Tag Plus. This is an app which you can use with NFC tags that also came with the Intuition aka the Optimus View and you're able to uh, make them do whatever you need them to do. We have one sitting over here uh, that's already set up to work with a, a sort of office setting. So if we put this on top, don't, oops, this is a good opportunity to show you what you do. Make sure you have NFC on right up here in your quick settings. Now we have NFC on. Put it on top and it automatically tells us that this is the things that this tag is going to do. We can change this out, we can make this tag do whatever we need it to do, but it has an embedded profile and it'll do things like turn your Wi-Fi on or off, data network, etc. So we'll go OK, back out of there. Uh, another thing you can see right here is it's ready to do landscape mode right out of the box as well. Uh, this is a feature that does not exist on the standard version of Android unless you're using uh, the newest one which is on the Galaxy Nexus and Nexus 7 right now. You can do voice search you can search for slash gear. Don't want to slash deer. That's fine. Go back out. You can also go straight from voice search right there. You can edit your screens like so. Start a little carousel going on like that. And more. Now, this device is working with Ice Cream Sandwich, but it has this uh, lovely, you know, extra build on top of it. Usually, a build like this in the past couple of years has been sort of something you don't want on top, which is why the Nexus uh, family sort of gained a lot of popularity. LG has done a really great job of making their own look for the device, uh, especially in places like this, where this is the settings. looks unlike settings on any other device that we've seen so far, but it makes everything sort of uh, organized really well. You can change your brightness and stuff from here in the display. Over in general, you got things like Power Saver. We've got Quad Core Control. That just does things. You can optimize your CPU. And, uh, you know, there's security and stuff in there. You can control everything in your sound profile right there and you can work with your networks right there. Very easy to use. Very nicely uh, set up there. Here you can see all your AT&T apps. Here you have a widget that brings you the weather and the time of course and uh, that's essentially it. Now we're going to look at a couple other uh, features in a separate video but this is the basic build of the device. It's a, it's a nice device. It sits in your hand like so. It's a little bit big it's almost a little bit slippery because the back has another plastic panel that's really, uh, you know, it doesn't have any grip to it. It has a little bit of a shiny bit to it. You'll be able to see in close-up photos. It's little, little, little triangles there. Or not triangles, but uh, diamonds in there. Diamond shapes so you can see different angles. Here you have a single LED flash, 8 megapixel camera, AT&T logo there. One speaker right here. It sounds really, really uh, lovely when you have things playing. You have a power button here. On this side you have your volume, you have a door right here, you can put uh, your micro SD card and your SIM card, and that's essentially it. Take a look at the rest of the review and check it out.